Now what if your Christmas gifts were delivered late? Well, that's what happened to baby Jesus in this story. And be watching for Bo to come in to listen. Hi, kiddo. I'm Grandma Goody, and I'm here to tell you a Bible story. And look, Bo came too. Now this took place way back right after the time that the baby Jesus was born. And uh, there were there were these wise men uh, that were called the Magi. And if you want to learn more about them, you watch my video called The Wise Guys. But our story begins here when they have come from far, far away and they want to deliver gifts to the baby that they have uh, heard uh, from God was born to be the king of the Jews and they was following a star and so they started out way far away and they followed the star and they didn't know here's the problem with the delivery they had no idea who they were delivering it to and they didn't know where to find him and so they just believed God and followed that star to the city of Jerusalem which was the capital city where the king of the Jews which was a, a, a King Herod, where he lived. So they figured, well, we'll just stop in and we'll go to the king and we'll ask him where the new baby king is, who's going to be the new king of the Jews. And so anyway, they got to Jerusalem and they followed that star. And when they was in Jerusalem, uh, they went to King Herod's palace and they started asking around, well, this upset King Herod. He was a very, very uh, angry man. He'd kill people if he thought they wanted to be king instead of him. But, of course, these guys didn't know that. So they stopped there and they said, We have come to worship the new king of the Jews. And uh, we saw his star far off on the east and we followed it here. And uh, where where's the baby that's the king of the Jews? And so King Herod, he called all the uh, folks around the temple because they were supposed to know what the prophecy said about where that baby would be born. And so um, they said, well, we looked it up in the, in the books of the Bible and the baby's supposed to be born in Bethlehem. And so King Herod, he pulled him aside and he said, I want to talk to you secret like you go find that baby and then come back and tell me where he is because I want to go worship him too. Now King Herod, he was lying. He didn't want to worship him. He wanted to kill him. But anyway, so they set off and then the star started moving. Okay, so the star's moving, moving, moving and the star gets to Bethlehem and you remember there was a stable there, but if you look at the stable now, there's no baby laying in the manger because this was afterward. Now the animals are all in the manger, but the star kept going and the star stopped right over the house where Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus was. The wise men, they saw that star stop and they saw a mama and the baby. And so they came and they said, Oh, we want to worship him. And they brought their gifts. Remember, they had to deliver those gifts. They didn't know where to deliver them to. So now they can see, oh, there's a baby. And uh, his mom is right there. And they wanted to worship him. There was uh, three gifts. So we'll show the Magi there with the three gifts. And they got there on their camel. He's going to rest over here. Uh, he's tired. He's come a very long way. So they came there. And they, they bowed down and they worshipped the baby Jesus. And you know what makes me a little sad at this part of the story? Remember all those folks that they were talking to there in Jerusalem? All the religious folks who read all the prophecies? And they knew that baby was supposed to be born in Bethlehem. They didn't go seeking him. They didn't go to worship him. But these, these men, they came to worship him and they brought three gifts. Let me tell you what the first Christmas gifts were, okay? Okay, well, first of all, every king likes gold. Gold, gold, gold. Gold coins, all kinds of gold jewels. Any kind of gold is like wealth and riches and like money. Today, you could spend it on stuff. So they brought him gold. And uh, then they brought something called the frankincense. 
uh, in here, it was a special kind of perfume that people believed was used to worship God because somehow the kings knew that this baby was very special sent from God. So they brought the frankincense, the perfume to make a nice, beautiful smell. And the last gift was very odd. I don't know if you got a Christmas gift that you thought was a little odd. It was not really what you were looking for or hoping for. Well, baby Jesus did too. And that was this last one. This last little gift was called myrrh. Now myrrh is something, it's an ointment. It's like a cream people would rub on the skin but it was especially used for when somebody would die and they would put it on the body before they bury it, which is a very strange gift. But gold, frankincense, and myrrh were all gifts that were used to honor a king. But I'll tell you what, so they got the gifts delivered and they worshiped the baby Jesus. They're very tired, so they took a nap. And uh, the Lord spoke to them in a dream and he told them, run away, run away, don't go back to King Herod because he's going to try to kill the baby Jesus. And he's going to try to kill you too if you don't skedaddle out of here. And so those kings said, we love you, baby Jesus. We're going to leave the gifts. And then they hopped on their camel and they skedaddled away. Let me tell you about the best Christmas gift of all. Because baby Jesus got the gold and the frankincense and the myrrh. You know how there's an extra gift sometimes you weren't expecting? Well, in this story... There's one more gift, and that gift is right here because the Bible tells us that God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son that whoever would believe in him, they would not perish, but they would get eternal life in heaven with God. And so you can receive that gift right now. Just say, oh, yes, Lord, like the wise men, I want to follow uh, and worship Jesus and receive him as my Savior that gift you sent me. But now, if you want to read the story I just told you about the wise men delivering the gift, you want to look here. It's in the New Testament, and the book's name is Matthew, and the chapter is chapter 2, and the itty-bitty verses inside the words, that's verses 1 to verse 12. And then the secret code is M-A-T, the number 2, the two dots and then one through twelve and now you remember grandma goody loves you but god loves you more <laughs>